Susie here. I'm just conducting an experiment. I think that I get the floor dirty when I walk across it with my dirty shoes. So now that I've cleaned it, I'm not going to walk across it again. Oh, hang on, this isn't working. Ah, oh, there. That's much better. Now I don't have to yell at you. Oh, the only thing is, you and I are on this side of the room, and what I want to show you is on that side of the room. So I need a simple solution to get us from here to there without walking across the floor. What I need is a bridge. It would have to be a strong bridge, though. Maybe you can help me. How do you make a really strong bridge? Concrete, stone, cement, and um, some tar. If I was going to make a bridge, I would use bricks and big steel things. Wood. I'll use water, paint, and wood. Wood so the cars can't fall off. A rectangular shape. I'll make a hump to one. Hmm, maybe. Hmm, a really strong bridge. Well, I'll need something to cross on. Yes. And maybe a support. How about one more support? All righty. Now I just have to build my bridge. Voila, one bridge. And this could be a very short episode. Well, let's just give it a try. So far, so good. Oh, hang on. It's really starting to sag. And if I take another step, it might really sag. Okay. I built my bridge, but it's not a very strong bridge. So, back to the drawing board, and maybe some engineering science. I need to build a bridge that's strong, one that won't tilt or wobble or break. So I'm going to build some models and test them. See which one will carry the most number of stones. So, how about I start with the supports? A support for each end of the bridge and something to go across. This piece of card will do the trick. Right, how many stones will this piece of card carry? Let's see. It's actually sagging without any stones on it. Oh, this is no good at all. I need a stronger design. Maybe a stronger base here. How about this piece of car? Ooh, that looks better already. How many stones will it carry? Ooh, one without too much sag. Try one more. Mmm. No, it's really sagging, isn't it? I don't think that's much good. I wouldn't like to walk on a bridge like that myself. So what do I need? How about more supports? We'll give that a try. Two more bricks. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is looking good. One stone. Two stones. Three. Four. Perfect. I could put heaps of stones on here and it would still support them. Hmm, but look at all these supports. It's a strong bridge, but if there was a road underneath for cars to, to move underneath the bridge, you wouldn't get a car through it. Okay, I need to think of another design. 
You ready to see my latest design? Well, stand by for the arch bridge. Where is the arch, you ask? Well, good question. This is actually a standard bridge. It has two bottom supports, the bridge surface, two upper supports, and the arch goes here for even more support. This is an example of an arched bridge. It has supports here, here, and here. The arched bridge. Now, how many stones can I put on here? Basically, as many stones as I like. This is a very strong design and there's plenty of room underneath for those little cars. I have a very strong design and I've used strong materials. This would make a very good bridge. But I've got one more bridge to show you, and I won't hold you in suspense. So stand by for my suspension bridge. This is the suspension bridge. With the plank completely suspended over the floor so it doesn't touch it. In fact, the whole bridge is suspended from these two chairs. One, two, which are also weighted so the chairs don't tip over. And real bridges are sometimes made a bit like this. This is the Auckland Harbour Bridge. It has supports here, making it strong enough to carry thousands of cars every day. But I don't think I want to cross the floor on this particular suspension bridge. Well, how am I going to get across the floor? How about I jump? Why didn't I think of that before? Well, I may have the cleanest floor in town, and if I never walk on it again, it will remain clean. I'll never have to clean it. But I think I'd rather clean floors than build bridges. Hey, next time you're out and crossing a bridge, have a closer look at it. See if you can see the design features that help make it stronger. Is the bridge a suspension bridge? with all the supports above and nothing underneath. Other supports on the side, like on this bridge with the weights. Or is the bridge an arch bridge with the support below? What is the bridge made out of? Concrete and steel? Or wood? Cardboard? Paper even? Or try making your own bridges. Test out the best designs. See if you can find the strongest materials. Or maybe the tastiest materials. Hmm, this is my kind of bridge right here. Good enough to eat. If you'd like more science information, you can head along to the library or check out my website. I'm at www.suzy.co.nz. I'll see you soon. Kakite. I'm conducting an experiment. Even an experiment. It's a strong bridge. But if there was a road underneath for cars to, to move underneath the bridge, you wouldn't get a car through it. Suspension bridge. Suspension bridge is an art bridge. Hey, Mum and Dad, thanks for paying your broadcasting fee.